Both stars and planets are massive, large, round, and look almost the same to the naked eye from the Earth. Yet, they're entirely different objects. So what makes them different? Stay tuned to discover the answers in today's video. Hey everyone, I'm Jordan Spivey, joined with my dad, Travis Spivey. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome science videos. Also, scan the QR code in the top left corner of the screen to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. In today's video, we will explain the differences between stars and planets. So, so let's, let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I will be able to describe and explain the differences between stars and planets. First things first, what is a star? A star is a luminous, hot, and massive ball of gas, mostly hydrogen and helium, held together by its own enormous gravity, which is what gives stars their huge mass. Gravity also causes a process of nuclear fusion in the core of a star, during which stars produce light and heat. Fusion occurs because a star's massive gravity compresses hydrogen to the point where high pressures and temperatures squeeze two hydrogen atoms into a helium atom. This process creates an enormous amount of energy that makes a star bright. The closest star to us is the sun. That brings us to our next question. What is a planet? A planet is a natural body that orbits around a star and dominates its orbit, displacing or moving all similarly sized objects nearby. Planets are massive enough to have a spherical shape, but not massive enough to cause nuclear fusion inside. They can consist of rock like the Earth and Mars, or of gas like Jupiter and Saturn. Planets outside of the solar system are called exoplanets. Exo means outside. That's why planets outside of our solar system are called exoplanets. Quick check for understanding. What are three characteristics of stars? What are three characteristics of planets? Pause the video and take three minutes to write all of your brilliant responses. Now let's discuss the major difference between stars and planets. The key difference between stars and planets is that stars generate their own light and heat through nuclear fusion in their cores and center. They emit energy in the form of light and electromagnetic radiation, which makes them visible from great distances. On the opposite side, planets do not produce light. Instead, to reflect light from their parent stars. That's why we can't see exoplanets like we can see other stars. A star like the sun is about a billion times brighter than the reflect light coming from an orbiting exoplanet. Let's take a look at some other differences between stars and planets. Number one, origin or how they are made. Stars are formed from huge clouds of gas and dust that collapse under the force of gravity and heat up, igniting nuclear fusion in their cores. Planets form from leftover materials that didn't contribute or add to a star's formation. Number two, composition or what they are made up of. Most of the stars we found consist primarily of hydrogen and helium. Planets can be one of two things, gas planets which are made up of hydrogen and helium and terrestrial or rocky planets like the Earth and Mars. Number three, orbit. Stars don't orbit planets, but planets usually orbit stars. However, there are some exceptions, like rogue or free-floating planets. Rogue planets occur when several large planets fight for a place around a single star and eventually kick their rivals out of the planetary system. Number four, lifespan. While planets have a stable long-term existence as long as nothing destroys or captures them, stars have a well-defined life cycle from birth to death. This cycle depends on the star's size. The bigger the star, the shorter its lifetime. For example, the most massive stars can die after only a few million years, while a star like our sun can live for about 10 billion years. Number five, diameter. Usually stars have a bigger diameter or total distance around than planets. There are some exceptions though, like white dwarf stars. They are leftovers of stars that were once like the sun, but died, shedding their outer layers and leaving only the core of the middle behind. That is only about the size of the Earth. If the star had planets bigger than the Earth orbiting it before it died, it's possible that some of them will survive and you have planets that are bigger than their star. Number six, mass. Stars always have more mass than planets. If a gaseous planet gains as much mass as a star, it most likely becomes a star. As for rocky planets, there is no known rocky planet with a mass anywhere close to that of a star. 
7. Atmosphere Stars' atmosphere is mostly composed of hot gases and plasma. Planets, on the other hand, have atmospheres that vary in composition and density. For example, the Earth's atmosphere is 99% nitrogen and oxygen, while Venus and Mars' atmosphere have more than 98% of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Their atmospheres will kill us because there is not enough oxygen on their planets for us to breathe and survive. 8. Habitability or ability to live in a certain place Stars can't be habitable because of the lack of surface area and the intense heat and radiation emitted from their cores. There are also uninhabitable planets with extreme temperatures, lack of breathable air, or toxic environments. But we're a living example of how some planets, like Earth, can support life. 9. Temperature Stars are incredibly hot and have high temperatures. Planets have relatively low temperatures. This is why we can live on the planet Earth, but it would be impossible for us to live on the Sun. 10. Number of planets and stars in the universe Planets are more common than stars in our universe. Most likely, the total number of planets exceeds the number of stars by a factor of 100 to 100,000. What's even more surprising is that there may be even more rogue planets or planets not orbiting any stars than the amount of stars in the Milky Way. In summary, the main difference between planets and stars is that stars can generate their own light and heat through nuclear fusion. This means stars are much brighter than planets. This is why we can see them in the vastness of space, even with our naked eye, while planets outside of our solar system are not visible. All stars have a similar color, while planets can have many different colors. For example, Venus is white, Jupiter and Saturn are yellow, and Mars is reddish. From the Earth, you can tell a planet from a star by whether it twinkles or not, by its color and location. There are even apps that you can use to tell the difference between stars and planets, like the stargazing apps Starwalk 2 and Sky Tonight. And that's our video for today. Now it's such an honor to see how proficient you are with describing and explaining the differences between stars and planets by taking our video quiz. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the top right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below the video to take the quiz. Remember, 80% are higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you, you better keep going, going because it's not on until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon, and also scan this QR code to contact us and explore more of our awesome content and material. Peace and have a positive, productive day.